Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic the Ravens pick up Adafi Owe's fifth year option. Look! I want to make sure that I say this, right? Because <laughs> coming out of work, you know that I got to track Twitter and stuff like that almost immediately, right? Um, and it, it, it's just something for the news because I can't, I can't be next to the news and have my phone on me. So I check that stuff literally almost immediately. And as soon as I seen, I seen, okay, Adafi Owe, they're picking up the fifth year option. Well, I knew they were going to do that. But then I saw people on Twitter trying to make comparisons between Adafi Owe and Justin, aka Meta Beast Day, Meta BK. Playing careers. And I said, bro. Bro. Hey, yo. Y'all really trying to... Like, does that make even any sense? Now, look. I know. They're going to say, well, he had his breakout year already. This is going to be a Dafe always breakout year. Look. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you exactly who a Dafe always career right now parallels and a lot of you haven't brought it up and it's literally a person that we've been talking about the last couple episodes so for one with a do uh with um matabike he literally doubled his sacks every season since he's been in the league you know that right <laughs> he hasn't been heavily injured like that and he's been able to stay on the field for the most part right <clears throat> There's been some hiccups here and there, but most of the parts he's been able to stay on the field. So that's not been Owe. Owe flashed. Everybody knows as a Raven fan where he flashed. He flashed in the Kansas City game. He makes the game saving, uh, what's it called, forced fumble against the running back. And everybody loses their minds and literally says, hey, he's going to be pretty much the next Ravens version of J.J. Watt. <laughs> Only if ever, right? So that's what was going on. So <clears throat> he never lived up to those expectations. The expectations were up here. He fell somewhere down here. You can't even see my hand no more. So, <laughs> so to me, there's no like, uh, there's no comparison between Medipik. <laughs> Matabike, there's just none, right? But the player, to me, that his career mirrors, and it's an offensive player, and y'all might not like this, it's Rashad Bateman. That's who his, his career mirrors. You're looking at two players whose injury has flashed at times. You remember the long play in, uh, against the Miami Dolphins and other ones with him uh, versus the New York Jets with Rashad Bateman, and everyone said, oh, my God, he could be him. And then the short catch that he ran literally up the field, I believe that was against Miami too, right? And everyone's like, oh my God, we have the number one receiver, right? And of course you had the the, the OA uh, fumble for the game winning uh, a fourth fumble and stuff like that. And after those, they never lived up to those expectations. Injuries played a strong part in it. Players in their same position were drafted after them pretty much to either help them or to surpass them. And the only difference that I've seen that both of them have had is one showed up, the other one missed two days, and now can't even pick up the fifth year option. <laughs> that's literally the <laughs> that's literally the only difference I look at when it comes to their careers thus far. So the Ravens have a Dafe away for two more years. And they have Bateman for three more years. But they have Bateman at such a regulated discount. I'm talking about this is this is this is family dollar, dollar general, dollar tree, <laughs> bargain bin deals. You feel me that they got him for? That's who he parallels. A player literally that has all the talent in the world. Adafi Owe is a guy with six, what is he, six, five, six, four, six, four, three speed, long arms, strong as an ox. Everybody thought this is a no. I mean, he had zero sacks in college, but with those measurables, well, we can get something out of him. And now we're hoping that 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 the rooster that the chickens finally come home to roost. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much 
You know what I'm saying? What they're hoping. That's that's what they're hoping for this year. And we're hoping for the same thing on Bateman. They're literally the same player. One plays defense, one plays offense. And I've said it a lot of times. When you look at Bateman's measurables, he reminds me of a faster Stephon Diggs. But nobody's making those comparisons. I'm telling you right now, when you look at Adafe Owe's career, literally the, the player that's his opposite along the same trajectory, parallel to him going the same direction, has been Rashad Bateman. Injuries and everything else, the way it's been drafted around them and every, everything else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. Me and you and you and me. No matter how we toss the dice, you can't to be. The only one for me is you and you and me. So happy together. <laughs> da 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 together <laughs> oh god yo man i make myself laugh sometimes bro that just be crazy but that's literally what it is and look that's not so much of a bad thing because Owe could have a breakout year this year matabike's i think with the breakout with the year that we've seen matabike have with the year that we saw geno stone have with the year that we saw patrick queen have uh, a lot of Raven fans are more open to late bloomers than they were a year, two years ago. And <clears throat> right now, we probably have a couple late bloomers on the team. But because of all the departures on the team, they have to bloom. Like before, it's like they could they could take their time. Now, there's no more waiting, right? A lot of there's been a lot of people that have left. Talented starters have left. Um, you already signed your quarterback, so that's a, t a ticking time bomb because of the contract, right? And you've got a, now a superstar running back in Derrick Henry that's back there who's probably only going to be good for the next probably two more years. Maybe you could eke out three, but nope, I'm not looking at anything over that. I mean, the most you can get out of him is probably two years, right? And then you're looking at it saying, well, then Zay, you're going to have to pay Zay in, what, three seasons, Right? And, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, what? where's Mark Andrews going to be after this year or even next year? Are they going to re-him up, extend him, or are they going to let him go and then run only with Likely and draft somebody else behind him? Like, all these is what I'm trying to say. We're on a, we're on a time crunch right now. We got to have these guys hit now. And Adafi always one of those players that have to hit. Now, look, I'm happy. They picked up his fifth. He's going to make 13, was it $13.5 million? Congratulations. He got a he got a cut of the pie. $13 million, nothing to sniff at. I promise you right now, if there is a day that this platform affords me the opportunity to earn $13 million in a year, this is exactly how I'm starting off the show. Thank you, Wonder King Show. Wonder Nights, Wonder Fuck Forever. $13.5 million. Man, looky here. Daughter's college fund is filled. Retirement is filled. House done got paid off. <laughs> Cars paid off. You know I got to pay my tithes. Mom and dad, I got you too. Lord have mercy. $13.5 million. Uh, after tax. After tax, you're still looking at about $9 million. Jesus. Yeah, I'd be all right. <laughs> Yo, you think content would be crazy then with that type of money? The content I'd be putting out would be astronomical. But yeah, so congratulations to that man. It's nothing to sniff that he's going to make his money. But guess what? Now I hope he performs. If he comes out, Here's the thing with performance. If he comes out and absolutely has a dominating season this year and has a season that kind of mirrored what Ju Justin Matabike did the last season, but he does this season, then the Ravens got him at a discount. A big discount. And on top of it, they have him for the next two years at a major discount playing at that level. So there's that too. So, oh, so I think that's what the Ravens are doing. I think it's a gamble, but it's a gamble that's a straight business move. And we're going to get to see what happens, right? We're going to get to see. But what do you guys think? Do you think, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Always career 
more parallels Bateman or does he parallel Matabike? And are you happy that they saw or picked up his fifth year option, right? Because I'm not against it, but I can understand some Raven fans are not excited about it, right? But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment section, all right? Because I always like to know what you guys know. But as always, <gasps> that's an episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching and how we get down we have fun and we laugh but everything we talk about rooted in what facts and truth please do remember like subscribe hit that notification bell and leave a comment you know i love the comments and if you have not done so already check out the one that controls patreon yes three tiers of content goodness when via consumption give it a look give it a try let me know what you think and if you'd like to donate to this channel help out with equipment and such stuff like that Bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash is located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. So once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This show's not for signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yerp. Finish him, daddy. Oh.